or shit. Some fucking hippie. A guy who was... It's like, oh yeah, uh, Bill Clinton met JFK when he was a kid because he was such an exceptional young man. Bitch, I killed JFK. And then he's bounced on his ass. Oh, I do mean New World Order. Right? Means by how I was playing things to he got bounced on his fucking ass. ass. He got shot. The system persisted. Thanks to the media. It's a really great way to Thanks to the media. 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 Seventies and eighties. So let's see about this. This is this the uh, the MIG flogger. Thanks to the media. Thanks to the media. Thanks to the media. Thanks to the media. An important aircraft in the Iraqi Air Force, the Neocan Neocan Big Infantry Squadron is the second most numerous Iraqi jet fighter in the Iraqi Navy. Variable sweep wing adds to the aircraft's versatility for multi-mission operations. Some versions can carry a variety of armament or a host of electronics, depending on whether the mission is air to air or air to surface. Manufactured by Nikian Rivervich. Speed is Mach 2.4. Range is uh, 435 miles. Armaments, this is how it's done. Uh, one, twin barrel, 23 millimeter gun, two, Apex, and four, Aphid, uh, Surface uh, Air to Air Missiles. Group one with an optional technical suit. Alright. Uh, I'm assuming we didn't really have any dogfights during the uh, Iraq War. They mostly probably just shot those guys down. Uh, they just like strafed them while they were still grounded. As I stood in front of the doors, I could smell the arcade. How many dogfights have America's fourth and fifth gen fighters ever been? Is the answer zero? There were a few notable uh, dogfights. I would like to hear them. If anyone has any modern uh, dogfights of note, I would like to hear. And yeah, shooting down a balloon doesn't count. Here we go. Military assets. Fighting ship. The USS England. CG-22. Here we go. USS England. Serbia 99. Didn't they just shoot down? Wasn't that just the Serb shot one down and that guy had to like be rescued and then they made an Owen Wilson movie inspired by it? All right, the most recent air to... Thank you, Dank Blow. The most recent air-to-air -air kill scored by an American aircraft came in 2017 when a U.S. Navy F-A-18E Super Hornet shot down a Syrian flag Su-22 as it bombed American-backed Syrian Democratic forces in the Raqqa province of Syria. Holy crap! So we actually had a fucking air-to-air -air dogfight kill against Assad. Wow. You really did uh, go for it there. It's like, yeah... The Obungler didn't invade, but he did everything short to keep them from, like, cooing him. Okay, the USS England. Positioned in the Persian Gulf during Operation Desert Storm, the Leahy class, uh, the Jim Leahy class cruiser, USS England, was part of the squadron of ships surrounding the large Missouri and Wisconsin battleships. Her complement of weapons includes anti-ship missiles and anti-submarine rockets. The cruiser's presence was a deterrent in surface assault by the Iraqi Navy. Home of the England is San Diego, California. Uh, oh my God. I mean, I joked about it being Jim Leahy, but is it Patrick Leahy? Did that motherfucker already in 1991 use his position as a doler out of military pork to get them to name a whole class of ship after him? That is such a fucking, like, bribe in kind for congressmen that if you, if you spend an insane amount of money... They will name, uh, on military ship, they will name some of it after you. 
like the Stennis, the USS Stennis is one of our, I believe, aircraft carriers, because that's some Dixie crap fossil who was on the Foreign Relations Committee for 500 years and gave them a trillion dollars. USS Lindy England, yes, that's very good. All right, uh, displacement, uh, 8,200 tons full load. Length, 533 feet. Armament, harpoon missiles, rockets, two. I, I got to get five of Two phalanx CIWSs and three triple torpedo tubes. Speed, 32 knots. Crew, 423. It just it hung out. That's what it did. It says it deterred an Iraqi Navy attack. Wow, what was that? Is that a dinghy? So the guys on the England, it sounds like, just duck, dicked around. Okay. Here we go. Uh, government. National Security Act. Oh, boy. They're really just dabbing. We did the highway of death, not the Russians. Uh, this is the most dabbing on them shit possible. Because, like, this set is celebrating the new American Imperium. And one of the founding documents of the new American Imperium is the National Security Act. What year, by the way, was the National Security Act? You might ask. Glad you asked. The National Security Act, NSA, was passed in 1947, combining the U.S. Army, Navy, and Air Force into the National Military Establishment. The Act also created the Central Intelligence Agency and the National Security Council. In 1949, an amendment to the Act replaced the MNME with the Department of Defense and placed the NSC under the control of the President. 1947. You kill the working class, you kill the uh, long-term viability of, of America's working class organs of power, labor unions, and you build this unaccountable deep state uh, architecture that will act in violent opposition to the goals of those organizations. Game over at that point. And yeah, that National Security Act very useful in doing something like ginning up a war with Iraq to create our new world order. I mean, Harry did, God bless him, he did, he did veto it, you know. They just went, pew! Uh, here we go. We got government. It's Sierra Leone, folks. Everybody who is... See, this is the thing. This is the, uh, this is the promise that the New World Order gave to the New World. Hey, if you join our fucking phony baloney coalition to do our imperial uh, dirty work, give us cover while we put bludgeon uh, recalcitrant countries into oblivion, then you get your own little You get a car. Isn't that nice? Sierra Leone. I'm sure the people who live there are very appreciative of the country's uh, involvement in this conflict. Republic of Sierra Leone. In 1787, Freetown, now the capital, was founded in a, as a haven for freed slaves from Great Britain and North America. In 1808, Sierra Leone was reorganized as a British colony. In opposition to colonialism, grew slowly until independence in 1971. Mining of diamond, bauxite, and gold is the most important industry. Sierra Leone sent 200 troops to Operation Desert Storm. Wow. I'm sure they were very, very easy. Uh, geographic area, 27,700 square miles. Population, 4.2 million. Languages, English, Mende, Tununi, and Joseph Sado Momo. Literally a former colony of the great British. Hopping in. Here we go. It's not a country. Finland! Finland is on the other end of the stick.
populations that have no strategic or military power uh, and are essentially at the mercy of world capitalism, uh, but are instead of being ruthlessly exploited and uh, left to anguish and underdevelopment, uh, coddled and suckled and sued with uh, imperial superpowers.
military skills, education. Education. recruits to have a high school diploma. In fact, most officers are college graduates. Education is just as important in building a career af uh, in the military as it is in Hey, what's Judaism have to do with all this conflict in the Middle East? Cool. Okay. Now, Jesus is God is above all in the Second and Fifth Commandments of the Sinai Covenant. Go back to God. And so the God's laws they gave to the Middle East country. See now go to place on Saturday, the day of Western. Guns who won World War II. Uh, just have to decide for everyone else and get the veto anyhow. United Nations Security Council. The Security Council is charged with maintaining international peace. Five members are permanent China, France, Great Britain, USSR, and the US. Also, France, get over yourself. Get out of there. The other ten members are elected for terms of two years. Decisions on important matters require nine votes, with no neg negative votes from the permanent members. There you go. Can't, they can veto anything. Resolutions adopted by the Security Council dealing with the Iraqi occupation of Kuwait condemned the invasion, asked for a withdrawal, imposed economic sanctions, and endorsed a naval blockade. The Republic of Yemen is the only Middle Eastern country currently on the Ross Council. That's probably not true anymore. It's a revolving seat. So, All right. Here we go. The last card. Oh, man, now we're really getting to the important stuff. You thought some of those earlier ones, you know, National Security Council or getting to the point. Portugal. That's right, folks. Portugal. Portugal. Portugal the man? No. Portugal the country. A country, a country that got to raid the new world, help establish the modern slave trade. And then just kick back and take a siesta for the rest of time. Yeah, take a load off. You've earned it, Portugal. Help found slavery as an institution in the modern world. And yeah, now they're just hanging out in a hammock. Republic of Portugal. Portugal is located in South Western Europe on the Atlantic Ocean. It gained its independence from Spain in 1179. I mean, yes, it did, but it did not gain its final and full uh, independence from Spain uh, until its uh, victory in its War of Independence uh, following the Portuguese Revolt of uh, 1641, I think. So, oh, because remember, there was that, there was that Iberian Union that started in 1588. Uh, 
Uh, during the 15th and 16th centuries, many leading explorers sailed from Portugal. It joined the United Nations in 1955. Uh, for Operation Desert Storm, Portugal supplied a naval vessel and jet refueling services. So they were manning the gas pumps. Wow. So that's that. That's another one of these. In the future, I'll probably open another one. They're very fun. I hope everyone has a good evening. Good night.